Hi, this is Brant from tradeguild.blogspot.com and it is uh, September 12th, 2006. Uh, market was up big today and uh, yesterday was kind of an unconvincing day. Today kind of sealed the deal. So um, I've been talking about the summer rally, typical summer rally being 9.3% off the May-June bottom. So uh, that put us um, over uh, the May highs and the Dow and the S&P. So we're still looking for that. It looks like it's going to do it. Um, There's some indicators that are showing uh, short-term strength, uh, breadth indicators, and in the long term, they're kind of starting to come unglued from the uh, the big primary trend from the, the market uh, run back in 2003. So we'll keep an eye on it. I expect to see uh, probably the May highs taken out, and then we'll see where it goes from there. Um, had some interesting positions this week. Uh, some nice things happen and a couple didn't work out but uh, we're gonna take a look at some of the ones that are working and uh, just kind of try to manage those positions um, and some new ideas of course so I've got about 20 to cover tonight so we're gonna kind of move through them pretty quick but um, first up I have uh, FLOW which is flow in international up on the screen and um, this is a short that I just got into basically we saw this big breakdown over here on uh, big volume and um, it's kind of rallied back up. It was up today about 4.71%. So I went ahead and uh, I shorted yesterday, so I added to that position today. And uh, ultimately, it could rally up to this 50-day moving average, or it could fill this gap up here um, from this uh, falling window that was created on this big volume day. So in any case, I don't expect to see it go much above that. And you know, your stop, obviously, would be probably about this level or maybe even up as high as $14. Um, taking a look uh, kind of quickly here, let's take a look at uh, the indicators on accumulation and distribution. And um, what I'm seeing is that uh, money stream here, let's take a look, closer look. As we're getting this rally, money stream hasn't really picked up at all. Um, BOP still showing selling and TSV hasn't crossed above that zero line. So it's telling me that this rally is just kind of fluff. It may be uh, uh, institutions or market makers just trying to push that up and dump stocks or dump the stock into it. Um, we don't know for sure, but it doesn't look like this rally is being confirmed by those indicators. So that's a good thing if you're if you're short. Um, let's take a look at um, a five minute chart of uh, these same indicators. And take a look at um, let me just kind of pan out a little bit. Take a look at the rally here that we see. This is today. And look how uh, money stream didn't even budge really it just stayed down there so that's kind of uh, confirming what i was uh just saying there's a about an 85 percent institutional position in this stock so my guess is um you know if it starts breaking down we're going to see some selling they don't want to have a stock that's just going to dump all apart um, let's move on to rio rio which is uh um, okay i'm not going to pronounce it but it's steel and iron Basically, uh, I shorted this one yesterday. Big head and shoulders top here from the uh, fourth quarter of 05. And um, one of the things we look for in head and shoulders top is the volume confirmation coming down off of the head here. This is a shoulder, this is a shoulder, uh, shoulder, shoulder. And there's the head. So look at the volume. We get this big negative volume, and that's one of the things you look for to confirm a head and shoulders top. So it's sitting down here at this neckline. Um, about twenty dollars, I'm going to say, is the neckline. It's just hovering right above that. Um, I think that this is going to break down, and it's got a lot of potential downside here. At least eight points, maybe ten points. Um, let's take a look at some indicators here. And what I have here is a uh, money stream. You can see here in red has just really come unglued from this trend. It should be up here, um, you know, with price more or less, and it is in a leading divergence. Um, you know, TSV is doing the same kind of thing. It's just doing a belly crawl over here. Um, other than that, you know, I, I really think that um, there's distribution that's uh, occurring right now. If we take a look at um, a three and five day chart here, you can see, and that, that's a good thing to do, by the way, is to take a look at multiple time frames, especially the longer time frames. There's three day, there's five day. You can see money stream looks even worse there. I mean, it's hitting new lows for uh, multi multi years here. Let's jump ahead. Um, one other thing, the uh, the short interest ratio on uh, the stock 
is about two days to cover. So there's not a big short position here, which means there's not the likelihood of a big short squeeze in it. So uh, that helps out, helps out a little bit on the um, on the short. Next up is OCPI, and OCPI is another one that's in my portfolio. I think this is basing out that 50-day moving average is flattening out. I'd like to see it get up above that 50-day moving average, um, and we'd go probably from a period of uh, accumulation, which is what I think we're seeing right here, to a period of markup and some price appreciation there. Uh, it's possible, I, I'm not 100% sure, but it's possible that this day was a shakeout. I went ahead and bought some more on this day uh, as it came down and bought up here uh, previously. So I added to that position and it's up a good 4% today. Um, <clears throat> the short interest on this stock, uh, actually I don't have that readily available, but the institutional ownership on this stock has gone from 12 to 32 percent since june so if we look back at what this what this whole thing looks like here basically from this time to now uh, we've seen a huge huge increase in institutional ownership there almost threefold so uh, i think they think that something is brewing here in ocpi so uh, keep that one on your radar next up is hyc which is Hypercom Corp. And this is a short that we've been all over. I mean, we've been through some real heartache on this one, uh, head and shoulders top. Uh, we started shorting it in this area and just held on and started shorting it up here. We called this day, um, it was really a, a big distribution day and it was very evident on an intraday chart. And I posted a whole bunch of messages on the tag board to go ahead and get short on this guy. And it has subsequently just fallen apart on huge volume. I unfortunately got out Back here in this doji day, I figured maybe it was going to bounce a little bit, and I'd add to the uh, or or you know get in a little bit higher again, but it fell apart. I should have uh, just stayed in. It was a lack of uh, discipline, and um, you know. But there's other ones, so I know a couple people uh, were in the same position, and I think one or two people may have gotten uh, the whole the whole move. So good ten, almost eleven percent today. So that was what we were looking for in HYC. Um, there might be another point in it, but I think it's getting close to being, uh, you know, close to the target that I would uh, expect for it to hit. Let's uh, take a look real quick why I have time in this video at SLXA. And this has been an interesting stock. <clears throat> There's that big symmetrical triangle that has been functioning as a base. And later I'm going to show you a, a symmetrical triangle that functioned as a top. Um, but this one was functioning as a base. And I've been saying, you know, buying this stock for a long time and uh, I bought finally I think in uh, somewhere in this level and um, it I think uh, performed a little shakeout yesterday and it had uh, a lot of us kind of worried but it was down a good four percent yesterday and I made the case pretty um, uh, pretty dramatically I think I guess in uh, the tag board last night or I'm sorry, the uh, the post last night on the blog. And basically what I said was, you know, when you have a base like this and it's getting ready to break out and there's a strong institutional support, which there is in this stock, it's actually gone, uh, it's gone up, what's the numbers here? I have it on my notes here. Yeah, 15 to 50% from February to September. So there's strong institutional support and these institutional traders will uh, go ahead and try to affect a shakeout and knock loose the loose shares. There's also a short interest in this stock that's almost 17 days to cover. So there's a huge potential short squeeze that's brewing here. So uh, what happens is as we near the apex of a triangle, volume starts to, to uh, diminish. And you can't really see it very clearly on, on this chart, but it is diminishing. And what happens is uh, they can shake you out on a day when it's kind of quiet. There's not a lot of trading. And that's what happens when we get into these apexes. So they try to shake out the loose hands. Um, and they also trap shorts. Some shorts say, okay, if it's broken down and they jump in, and those are now effectively trapped. I think this stock is gonna break out and break out huge. Real quick, look at the uh, accumulation on this. There's money stream just flying. But that's it for this video. I'm running out of time. I'm gonna come uh, back and maybe I'll cover this a little more.